Literally, I say a goddamn thing about the 2020 election and I get yeeted from fucking orbit. But you get this fucking rotund mm, nice lady. It's a new year. Let's start off on the right foot, obviously. She can continue to bitch and whine and fucking bellyache about 2016. Meanwhile, yeah, just continue to say 2020 most uh, secure and safe election of all time. Uh, Donald Trump was not legitimately elected in 2016. Where's your proof? Okay, did you guys do any audits? Actually, yes. Yes, they did do an audit. Okay, cool. Now, what did they find at the time? Well, the audit was initiated in Wisconsin. Okay, a popular place to do audits. That's obviously it was initiated by Jill Stein, the Green, the Green Party candidate at the time, and she was still the Green Party candidate um, in 2020, if I do recall, because I think that's the only person who runs on the Green ticket. Anyways, yeah, no, uh, she crowdfunded, she raised a whole bunch of money to fund the audit, as you do, okay, as all audits do. They're funded by the party, not by the taxpayer. Don't let the media gaslight you on that. Anyways, not uh, not central to the story. They started to do the audit in Wisconsin, and by God, they ended up finding some um, very dubious votes that were there. Thousands of them, in fact, and unfortunately, they were fraudulently cast for Hillary Clinton. Fucking weird how that happens, and then all of a sudden, once those results started to come out, oh yeah, shut, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Yeah, fucking funny how that happens. Didn't find anything else, though, but Marussia, am I right, guys? Anna Navarro uh, told her co-hosts on uh, Tuesday on uh, ABC's The View that former President Donald Trump was Ill illegitimately elected in 2016. Why is that? I'm sure you have a very honest and based opinion as to why that was allowed to continue. And Navarro said there's things that uh, I think should be that should transcend partisanship. And then you're going to talk about how Trump was illegally elected in 2016. Okay. And should transcend pro or politics and a breach on the U.S. Capitol. An attack on our democratic principles and institutions should be one of those things. Oh, they're going to be so fucking insufferable a couple days from now. But yeah, we'll, we'll reserve the right to talk about January 6th, 2021 for a couple of days. Because that's going to be a sped fest of epic proportions. Yeah, an attack on our democratic principles and institutions should be one of those things. I really blame Republicans at the top of capitulating to Trump. I blame Trump for continuing this environment of lies and the conspiracy theories and the not accepting that he lost. Yeah, he did. Over. And encouraging and promoting what happened, um, the, the big lie, and what happened on January 6th. Yeah, like um, Michael Bird, Lieutenant Michael Bird shooting and killing, killing Ashley Babbitt. Unjustifiably, 100%, but never facing uh, prosecution for any of that. Yeah, no, definitely, you should probably get on that. Is not like uh, is not just me saying this. It's Kevin McCarthy saying uh, this on January sixth. Wait a minute, I thought you were blaming Republicans, not trying to hold them up. Oh, you're just picking and choosing. I get it. Let me read you what uh, he said, Kevin McCarthy. Uh, the the president bears responsibility for the attacks today on Congress by mob rioters. Cool. What else has he said? McCarthy said on House floor. I he should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw that it was uh, unfolding. He did. Uh, these facts require immediate action by President Trump. Now, just days later, that same Kevin McCarthy was at the Mar-a-Lago kissing Trump's ring. Yeah, it's almost like he got proper context and he just fucking figured it out instead of just letting one of his uh, fucking interns write out a stupid boilerplate press release. But I'm not running cover for Kevin McCarthy. I think he's a rhino extraordinary and he's a sack of shit and fuck him. Jim Jordan for uh, Speaker of the House 2022. Make it happen. She continued... Oh, Oh God, we seen Republican after Republican who uh, on January 6th was shocked and calling for an investigation. Yeah, Republican after Republican. Yeah, from Liz Cheney to Adam Kissinger to... That's why I had to stop it too. And for the truth and for the reaction and action from Trump. Uh, we've seen him bow down to Trump because they want to stay elected and because they're putting their own positions over democracy and defending the United States institution of, an, uh, of a legitimate election. Project much? Oh boy, I see, I, I see the word there. Let's get to it. Look, I felt that Donald Trump has not been legitimately elected. Cool. I too run off of feelings and emotions, obviously. I feel like he's uh, gotten help from the Russians, and you know what? What? You got receipts for that? 
it would have not occurred to me uh, that he'd take up arms against Donald Trump. For you to take up arms against Donald Trump? Bitch, you can barely take up arms to reach the top of your head. Fucking hopefully your New Year's resolution uh, revolves around fewer churros. Is the ballot, and I hope the people remember January 6th. Or January says you know why you know how by registering to vote by making sure that you know where they have to show up to vote because there are elections this year and they are so crucial yeah cry harder motherfuckers are gonna end up losing hard and this spurg out on I, I'm not entirely sure when the midterm election is it's probably like the third fourth or fifth whatever it is first uh, Tuesday in November whenever that falls down um the Wednesday morning on the view is gonna be oh my it's gonna be so delicious and I'm looking forward to that but um yeah I wish we could just stop right there when it comes to people just um having still 100% completely unreasonable takes when it comes to Trump but no no it goes higher than that it goes to more uh, people who are more ingrained institutionally than that you got the attorney general of New York who you remember campaigned on I will sue Donald Trump if you elect me okay political motivations aside no uh, she's subpoenaing Trump and his family members for reasons I'm just trying to figure out why the fuck they were getting subpoenaed by this bitch in the first place, okay? Don't you have um, more important things to do? Oh, wait, no, you're you're actually not going to be pursuing those, but we're going to be talking about um, charges that she should be pursuing and aren't, because obviously they were never going to do that in the next couple of days. But uh, what is she up to right now? Well, she's trying to subpoena and she's trying to get to the bottom of something. Former President Donald Trump and two of his children have been issued subpoenas by New York Attorney General Latita James as part of a civil investigation into the family's business. Okay, according to court filings that was unsealed on January 3rd. According to the court documents, James' office is seeking documents and testimony from Trump, Ivanka Trump, and Donald Jr. in connection with the investigation into the valuation of properties owned or controlled by the former president and his company, the Trump Organization. Cool. What are you, what are you hoping to accomplish there? Previously, James' office has issued a subpoena to Trump seeking testimony and was set Oh, and set a January 7th deadline. Trump's attorney said that they would move to block the subpoena. Well, another one of his children, Eric Trump, provided testimony in late 2020 following a subpoena. I'm sure he went in there and said, no comment, because he's the guy who, when Trump was in office, he was, uh, Eric was the CEO, the acting CEO for the Trump organization anyways. Ivanka and Don Jr. considered longtime business associates of their father, you don't say are expected to file motions to block the subpoenas, uh, James' office said in the court filing in Manhattan. James noted that former President Donald Trump is fighting an earlier subpoena that was issued by her office. Yeah, cool. Uh, according to the filing, her office will oppose any motion to quash an attempt for relief within 14 days of filing the motion, and James will file any cross motion to enforce subpoenas on the individual Trump family members. What a fucking sped. Those subpoenas would allow for James' office to obtain documents and testimony regarding Trump properties or any matter of the attorney general deems pertinent thereto, uh, the court filing reads. Again, what are you trying to fucking get at here? I don't understand, okay? You're trying to say that the properties that he owns aren't as, you know what, um, valuable as you think that they are? Cool. You could probably go through, like, infrastructure departments and a bunch of different things, okay, outside of that, if that's what you're trying to look at. It just kind of seems petty. But yeah, so about those subpoenas and about those motions, see if this bitch falls through on this. Trump's attorneys moved to block subpoenas in the New York Attorney General Civil Probe. See if she uh, is actually going to follow through on this, or maybe it was just, I need to grab headlines. I'm subpoenaing all the Trumps. Well, this is retarded. Attorneys for former President Donald Trump, two of his children, moved late Monday to block, uh, or block unprecedented and unconstitutional subpoenas from the new... New York Attorney General's office seeking their testimony in court filing Monday evening. Lawyers for Trump and his two eldest children, Ivanka and Don Jr., attempted to quash the subpoenas from Attorney General Letita James' office seeking testimony for documents as part of a lengthy civil investigation involving matters including the valuation of properties owned or controlled by Trump and his family business. The pair have served as executive as at Trump's company, the Trump Organization. Wow, but I thought that they were just suspected business partners. Huh. 
Uh, previously, uh, previously, doom, doom, James's office had issued a subpoena to Trump seeking testimony and don't really care. The subpoenas are an unprecedented and unconstitutional maneuver. That's what I want to know here, okay? I want to know why the fuck they're getting subpoenas. I, I don't know, okay? Lawyers for the Trumps wrote, accusing James of attempting to obtain testimony that could be used against the Trumps and parallel criminal investigation being overseen by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. That motherfucker right there. Yeah, but what criminal investigation? <laughs> Again, whatever. They're just trying to set up this situation. It's kind of like what happened, okay? I'm not going to say it's going anywhere in that direction, but this is what could happen, okay? You remember Bill Cosby, right? He was facing, uh, obviously you do. He was facing criminal charges and he was also facing civil charges, okay? And they were trying to depose him for the civil charges and they said they wouldn't be using that uh, deposition for the criminal charges but then the district attorney just kind of walked that back because hey guess what oh i kind of had to change a heart on that one so they're trying to get um kids to say some things in deposition which you have to answer every question that's presented to you in order to um incriminate somebody even if it's not true even if it's a coerced admission you can see this from a mile away. James is seeking to circumvent the entire grand jury process and allowing their testimony would set a de dangerous precedent to the lawyer. Oh, the lawyers argued. They wrote that James seeks to nullify the Trump's rights by forcing them to testify without the immunity that's guaranteed under state law where the subpoena to testify, testify in front of a grand jury in a criminal probe. Exactly. That's why she's uh, issuing the subpoenas for the civil cases. Hmm. This is a rather transparent gambit. The lawyers argued on Monday by attempting to play both sides. Ms. James is an opposite. Oh, is in a position to cherry pick her investigatory methods, civil or criminal, in a calculated manner to, for example, leverage a Fifth Amendment assertion and obtain an adverse inference. Yes, in the civil probe, Trumps might well be inclined to testify if they weren't. Uh, oh, if it weren't for a criminal probe, they added. Yeah, again, you can just say that without any sort of repercussions because it's just a hypothetical that's never going to be acted on. Uh, the New York Attorney General, a Democrat, has spent more than two years working, oh, looking at whether the Trump Organization misled banks or tax officials about the value of assets, allegedly inflating them uh, to gain fav favorable loan terms or minimizing them to reap tax savings. Spending two years still haven't laid any criminal charges okay the best you can do is just kind of muddle fuck around with some of these um civil cases and just a criminal probe that's out there okay uh we see what's up James previously said her office is investigating whether Trump organization inflated the values of its real estate holdings to obtain bank loans and reduce and save on taxes. Uh, the probe is related to, but separate from, a criminal investigation by the uh, Manhattan District Attorney's Office of the Trump, and, uh, Trump Organization's business practices. Uh, nice vague terms there. James joined the District Attorney's investigation last May. Despite their names, they must play by the same rules everyone else does. <laughs> business dealings in New York. All of them are corrupt. I'm just gonna say that okay you just fucking read all of the backroom dealings that has to go on in order to build or renovate or own any businesses in new york city proper it's all fucked beyond belief but which rules are you talking about here sweetheart uh, these delay tactics will not stop us from following the facts of the law sure Oh, uh, which is why we'll be asking the court to compel donald trump donald trump that's a uh, former president put some fucking respect on that name Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump to testify uh, with our office under oath. But again, why didn't you get the acting CEO, okay? Somebody who is actually more influential with the business dealings. Oh, it's almost like you're just trying to conduct your own show try. Your show trial, sorry. <laughs> Fucking weird. We'll see where this goes. This is just going to be kind of just a little bit of a sideshow. Okay, but it's good. Let's just get this shit out of the way because uh, campaign and season is about to pick up. And that's what I want to be talking about eventually. But... We got some crazy shit from some Democrats going out in um, Chicago and Pennsylvania that uh, I want to uh, cap end the day on because shit be wild out there. With that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Doc Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.